How many of you grew up Lutheran? How many of you were confirmed? Okay, so you've been through this. I remember when I was confirmed, uh, I think it was 1993. Braces, big glasses, dressed up nice. And I, I really thought I was something special that day. Um, my uh, parents had made me go to, where I went to, it was confirmation for three years. And that the day I got confirmed, it was such a big deal. Um, at cakes that said, congratulations, we have a cake. Uh, Bridget got a cake that said, congratulations, Matthew and Shelby. Um, I don't know what it's made of. Bridget got it. It might be wheatgrass and something. So, <laughs> but anyway, it says congratulations. Um, but I think, I think those are the wrong words. Because the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know what? I'm not confirming you today. Maybe we should have put on there two more years. <laughs> That's really funny to me. Um, but it's... Because you, today is not something you've accomplished. This is not an accomplishment for you two. And that's something that I've said since the very beginning. Uh, confirmation isn't something you accomplish. Confirmation isn't something that we do to you. The church is not confirming you. I am not confirming you. You are confirming yourself. You're coming forward, and you're making a decision. And so instead, the cake maybe should say, good decision, or... Uh, proud of you or something because this is about something you're doing this is about your relationship with God the two years that we've spent together this is kind of sad because this is my uh, the first confirmation class that I've had two full years with that we've done here and so um, so I've gotten to know you guys now every Wednesday for two full years uh, and we've done so much good it's been so much fun that I'm, many of you don't know, but when the chairs are down, this building makes a great uh, wiffle ball stadium. <laughs> uh, we've had days where things were going rough, and we just said, okay, we put, let's go get yogurt. Uh, we, we've had a lot of fun together, and now, uh, but I don't want you to think that it's coming to an end. Uh, but confirmation is, you're not achieving this. You're making a decision. A decision uh, to take ownership of promises that were made on your behalf. Shelby, you got to look at me. I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> but I'm also talking to everyone who's ever been confirmed. And everyone who ever will be confirmed. When you were a baby, most of us are baptized as babies, right? When you were a baby, your parents brought you forward to be baptized. There was nothing you could do about it. You could cry and you could scream, but that water was going on your head whether you liked it or not. Uh, and the promises that were made that day were made by God. There was nothing you could do about that. God made the promises to you when you were so small that you couldn't say you didn't want them. Your parents made a decision for you. God made promises for you. It was nothing about you. You just had to be held over this water so that it could be dripped on your forehead. Now it is about you. Now is the day where you come forward and say, I am confirming the promises that were made that day. And I am, I am confirming that, that those promises that God made has, for me, I'm going to accept those. I believe that. I believe in the promises of God, and I'm going to do my best with the promises that were made for me. To read the Bible, to be a good person, to try and tell others about Jesus. That's what you're doing today. That's what confirmation is. That's what you all did all those years ago. And I'm sure you all had cakes and and then parties and stuff when you were baptized or confirmed. But I want you to, to grab that confirmation that you made those years ago and to figure out what it is for you today. What does it mean to have been confirmed 50 years ago? What does that mean for you today? Uh, I think it means <coughs> in our prayer this morning, it said, Lord, help me have right judgments. And I think confirmation, the biggest thing about confirmation is confirming the fact that you believe that Jesus is the Christ and that you're going to do something good because of it. And so we pray for God to help us make better decisions. And I think that's what life is about. It's making better decisions. And so, I mean, you guys are in eighth grade. 
You're not even in high school yet. You've got a lot of bad decisions ahead of you. <laughs> right? I mean, but I think there's two kinds of bad decisions. There's the kind of bad decision that you make, uh, but when you make it, it sounds like a good decision. And then at the end, if you look back, and you know, that probably wasn't a good decision. Uh, your parents might tell you about some of those things. Like, you know, at some point, you're probably going to break somebody's heart. And somebody's probably going to break your heart. And when you get older, you might start down a road, uh, you might pick a major and then realize you want to do something else, and pick another major, and then pick another major. And so you look back and think, oh man, I wish I hadn't wasted all those time in those science classes. Or, or you might make a bad investment when you get older, that you look back and say, oh, I really, really wish I would have listened to that person. Uh, you're going to make bad choices, but, but some of them you have no control over. And, so, and, and they make you who you are. And so continue, don't be afraid to make bad decisions, but the bad decisions I think that we really should be worried about are the ones that before we make them we know it's a bad decision. Uh, for instance, Matthew Shelby, if you yell back at your parents, you know you're going to get in trouble, right? You shouldn't be surprised when you get in trouble after you yell back at them, like, oh I didn't expect to get in trouble now. <laughs> you made a bad decision you knew before you're going to make a bad decision. Uh, in a couple of years, you guys are going to get your driver's license. That's scary. Um, when you speed and you get pulled over and you get a ticket, you shouldn't be surprised that you're getting a ticket. Because before you broke the speed limit, you knew what you were doing. For me, when I was 16, the magic number was 63 and a 45. <laughs> it happened twice. Um, The first officer was very nice, the second wasn't. Uh, but I broke the speed limit and I knew what could happen. The decisions we make in life, there's decisions where we know it's a bad decision. And I think we pray to God so this morning when we said make, help us to make right judgments, just to help us know what decisions are bad and not make them. Not to do the things that are going to cause us grief in life. Because that's what other, we don't want to make bad decisions because we don't want to hurt other people and we don't want to deal with the punishment ourselves. And so when you're confirmed today, when you're, you're claiming the promises of God, God has done that for you. You're saying that what my parents did for me, I'm all about it. But what you can control are the decisions you make going forward. And so we help ask, we help, we ask God to help us make better decisions going forward. And how do we do that? I think we remember our confirmation. Does that, anybody remember their confirmation verse? Couple? I had a really good idea this morning. I printed your confirmation verses on photo paper, and I, and I put it in a frame for you. And I want you to put this in your room somewhere and read this. I'm going to ask you to read it every day. Every day you get up before you start your day, it'll take you literally a second and a half. Remember your confirmation. Remember what you're doing here today. You're making a promise to try and live a godly life. And the more you remember that, the more you remember not just what you believe, not just the promises you made, but you remember who you are. Romans tells us this morning that those who are led by the Spirit are the children of God. That's what you're coming forward to do today. That's what all of you have done when you were confirmed. You came forward and said, yes, I am a child of God. God has claimed me, and I'm going to live my life as a claimed child of God. Remember that every morning, that you are a child of God, and that God can and will help you be a better person. Not because you need to be a better person to go to heaven. God's got that taken care of. But because God calls us to be better people and uses us to build his church. And that's what it's all about. And I can't wait to hear your faith talks, to hear what you have to say about faith yourself. John, I don't think we need to videotape those, though. I don't know, that might be kind of fun. Now we won't. <laughs> and to hear how this faith is real for you. This is not the end. This is the beginning. We're going to get to know each other better as we continue to grow in faith together. All of us. So, I guess in a way, congratulations. Amen. <laughs>